Hello my friends, how's everybody doing? Tutagamon here. In this video I'm going to benchmark Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six on a single GTX 1070. As always, this is a digital recording at 60 frames per second. So what you will see in this video will be pure performance. I'm using my Core i5-2500 which is overclocked to 4.8 GHz. There we are. The system has 16 GB of memory and the graphic card is a single GTX 1070 made by KFA2. It is the EX model, the latest force were installed and it is also overclocked so it will be boosting at 2 GHz. I'm going to use uh, fraps to gather the gameplay data. Of course, I'm going to run the built-in benchmark as well. Uh, why not? So we will see the result in this file and some analysis at the end of the video. Let's see the options first and let's do the built-in benchmark as well. So I'm using 1080p resolution, uh, borderless mode for this run because uh, this game is a little difficult with uh, my uh, recorder but it has no uh, performance difference when the system is overclocked anyhow. I'm using the ultra preset as you can see here. Uh, I know that the Ultra Preset uses the Temporal uh, Filtering which uh, reduces the effective uh, resolution but it is what it is. Maybe I will do a maxed out uh, version at some point. Not very important. We have an overall average of 164 frames per second. Uh, all the numbers are very decent since they are above 60 frames per second. But let's see how uh, real gameplay looks like. So again, uh, ultra quality. And let me go to situations and start my Cold Zero mission which is uh, my benchmark location. The enemy has taken a hostage and equipped one of their members with a bomb vest. Ideally, your first bullet should neutralize the bomber. This is a cold zero situation. Glass uses an OTS-03 short sniper rifle equipped with a scope and silencer, which enables him to eliminate hostiles from long and short range. 
Once you secure the hostage, smoke grenades can provide... Move to hostage location and secure the hostage. Okay, so the game has loaded. I am starting the benchmark. Hostage in possession. Mm -hmm. Hostage secured. Move to the extraction point. Hostiles approaching. Keep the hostage secure. Hostage free. Secure the hostage.
Securing hostage. Hostage secured. Extract the hostage. the hostage. Secure the hostage. hostage okay, this is successful. the end of the benchmark. Now, let's see what kind of performance uh, we were getting. 163 frames per second. It was 115 for the 970. We have a 42% performance increase. Not too bad, but uh, this is uh, one of the lower deltas <clears throat> amongst uh, the two cards. Frame rate is quite good, as are the frame times. GPU usage is uh, at 99%, with some dips at 98%. This may indicate a PCI Express uh, issue. The CPU usage is uh, crazy high, maxed out throughout the run. Very impressive uh, from this game. Not a lot of stuff is going on for the CPU to have 100% CPU usage in, on all cores. CPU temps are fine, however. RAM usage at 4.7 GB at its max, 80% of GPU power, temps are fine, 2, giga, 2 GHz for the core clock throughout the run, 3.1 GB of video RAM used. And let's see what the analysis can show us. So we have a very good frame rate and the comparable is also very good at 140 frames per second. Very low average, uh, little variability in spite the uh, very low average and very little stuttering as well. Excellent performance uh, overall. It is a light game for the GTX 1070. It was a light game for the 972. Uh, we do have some spikes uh, during the middle of the run, but they are spikes hovering at around the 6 to 7 millisecond uh, threshold. Most of the frame times are okay. In any case, uh, Fraps did not record any serious stuttering, so uh, it is not stuttering at 0 0.2 milliseconds time spent beyond 16.7 milliseconds should be zero yes it is zero very good performance overall uh, excellent histogram absolutely excellent most of the frame times are at 6 and 7 milliseconds Crazy performance. Again, the frame times chart. I expected this to be a little smoother, but it is okay. Frame rate chart, very high. Min, max, and average with crazy values. Variability at 0 0.8 and stuttering at 0 0.2. Both of these are at one millisecond. One millisecond. You don't 
often see that the percentile is also crazy at 8.3 milliseconds, 8.4 no graph here and the comparable frame rate is crazy at 140 frames per second with very little variability and even less stuttering very good performance overall although uh, a better test would be to to test with uh, four times multi sample anti aliasing i think this must be the uh, heaviest anti-aliasing method. In any case, uh, this video is made for uh, comparison with the 970, so it's all good. Thank you very much for watching my friends. I will see you in my next video.